Here's a quick less than 10 minute uh, seated stretch session that you can just do even at your desk. So you can imagine that my hands would be out on my computer or on my desk. Here's some quick and easy stretches that you could do. First, definitely start with some neck stretches. You can do them as a hold like this, applying maybe even a fingertip amount of pressure up on your temple. We're gonna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. And when it comes to stretching, more is always better. So if you don't really have the time, you know, you can take about 20 seconds here. We find we've been sitting at a computer or doing work. The neck is one of the first things that gets stiff as our head sort of leans forward towards a computer. Good. An alternative to this one, of course, would be next. You can always roll the neck out. So you can think about just sitting back from your computer, even once an hour, and even just doing maybe five or six of these might help relieve the neck. Okay, return that head to the center. And let's also roll the shoulders up, back and down. All right. So again, you might not even been aware that you've been in this sort of static position with the arms. Now not everyone's desk is also set at a good height. Okay, let's roll the shoulders forward. So I like some dynamic stretches when I'm thinking about you know, I've been in a prolonged position for a while. Static stretches work better when our muscles are warmed up, right? So if we've been out and about, then yes, yeah, a quad stretch, a hamstring stretch would be more appropriate. Okay, reach back for our chair here, holding the edges of our chair. I'm gonna ask you to look up, draw your chest forward. Couple deep breaths in here. When you're breathing in, you feel your lungs pressing forward. Again, this is giving our neck a little bit of neck extension. We're looking up. And then draw the eyes down. When the eyes come down, slide those hands forward. Now, if you've got a desk, reach your hands onto your desk and round the back like a cat. If you're moved back from your desk as I have now, hands on my knees, sort of to cup my knees, draw the gaze downward. Slowly restack the spine. Now, both of those, you may need to want to repeat the Superman and the cat stretch there, but I'm going to move on to a twist. So taking uh, your left hand onto your right thigh and your right hand to the back of your chair. I want you to look around to the back of your space. So we're getting some neck rotation here, some spine rotation. You should feel equally in your feet and in your sit bones. So we're not trying to lean on one side more than the other. Good, slowly and gently release. Let's swap those hands. Take the same stretch over the opposite side. With each in breath I take, I draw the top of my head towards my ceiling. With each exhale, I apply a further twist. Good, amazing. Slowly and gently release. After rotating the spine, also like laterally bending the spine. So you may need to widen your feet. You're gonna again, raise that left arm up. I'm gonna take my right hand onto my left thigh and then just bend over. So again, if you're sitting at your desk, you might have your hand on your desk. I'll give you some leverage or ability to stay planted. If you have a desk that has armrest, that's another great place to place this hand. You can kind of hook your hand on your armrest and then be able to pull over maybe a little bit deeper. Try and keep a little space between your arm and your head. And let's take together three more large breaths into the side of our body.
Beautiful, slowly and gently return. Swap the hands onto the knee. Let's inhale that opposite arm up. And again, we're gonna side bend over. So I'm really here pressing this foot into the floor in the sit bone into my seat, just so I feel really stuck or grounded. Breathing into the side of the rib cage as much as I can. So good number here is about five total inhales or breath cycles should mean that you're going to be in this position between 45 seconds and about a minute, right? And I start off by saying, you know, minimum here, kind of 30 seconds. Amazing, gently release your arm down. Good, now no matter if you're sitting right at your desk or slightly back, it's really handy now to stretch one leg out. I'm gonna place both those hands on our bent knee and then a little bit of a hinge forward, just enough to sort of wake up the hamstrings. To extra wake them up, you take those toes of the straight leg and you point them up to the ceiling or back towards your nose, you can imagine. The more firmly you start to draw those toes back, you start to feel awakening in the back of the calf, down the leg, kind of from sit bone, all the way to your heel. Tilt the head, keep that neck in a good straight alignment. And with every stretch, we're going to a point of feeling a stretch happening, of course, but never should it induce pain. Pain is the signal from your muscle to say, hey, that's too much or too deep. And you end up contracting the muscle that ultimately you're trying to stretch. Take your last breath in here. And then slowly straighten yourself up. Amazing. That leg should feel great now. Switching it over. Straight leg out. I know you can't see my leg as it's dipped under my desk. But again, hinging forward. I'm using the thigh as my support. And just be careful here. Sometimes, you know, we're not even conscious, but we start to shrug up our shoulders. So just make sure you've lengthened your neck tilted your chin and now your gaze is looking at your foot you can start to draw your toes back towards you Good, I slowly release that one. Okay, so next I like to do the inner legs or the groin. So you can slide one foot over to the side. Sometimes that's enough. I also like to do this, just reach my arm over my head again. So it's full side of body down that IT band. Good. I'm just listening to the breathing as we gently release. We'll go the opposite way. So we slide that foot out. We reach our arm over and we side bend. Trying to make this whole side of the body now get that stretch. Might be feeling a little bit of a pull through the inner groin. I think it's most critical if you've been sitting lots, these hip flexors are going to be a bit tight. So I really think this one is an important one to do. To do it though, you're going to have to turn sideways in your chair. Now, if your chair has some arms, you might have to angle just slightly in front of that armrest, okay? And we're going to slide a leg back. So you can see I'm pressing my heel back, and getting that stretch into the front of the hip flexor. And then depending if you've got the space, you might lift your arm up and let it go back to, it's just gonna make that whole front of your body feel a little bit more strongly. Now remember to breathe. If it's too deep or too strong, right away you notice you're holding your breath. So let it go. 
If having the arm up is just too much, maybe for your low back, got some low back sensitivities, then definitely just do it with the hand down. Okay, we might lower it both. We'll make sure we do it on the other side. So we're gonna turn our bodies face the chair the other way. We're gonna slide this leg back. Yep, you can see I'm getting that nice open stretch into the hip flexor. You can either have your hands on your hand rest of your chair, in the back of your chair, you can reach it up. Lifting the gaze, lifting the chin away from the chest. That aids our breathing. Good, and then gently and slowly release. Now, coming near the end here, I only have two more stretches to do and I really think they're important as well. One is something for your wrists. Again, you've been sitting at a computer, so making sure you take some time now to draw the wrists up, right? Stretching out those carpal bones, all the tendons of the forearm. Now, if you again have your desk right there, you may be able to do two hands at once, right on the edge of the desk. Let's do your other hand. Okay. Again, you don't want pain. You just want to feel a naturally sort of stretch, palm of the hand, into the wrist, into the forearm. You notice my elbow is remaining straight to do that. And I'm dropping the hands a little bit from my uh, chest so that I'm not shrugging my shoulders to do this. Okay. Might also be nice just to circle your wrists, okay? So if you have the time, some circles, some blood flow, making those hands open and close, right? You don't even wear, you aren't even aware that you're keeping your hands in the same way, right? Couple circles one way, couple circles the other. Which is gonna lead me into our last one. I really think also important here to bring blood flow to the bottom of your body. I'm gonna lift my foot up so you can see, but some ankle circles is the best way to finish. So you could do that on the floor. You could elevate the leg, but just like you just did the wrist about maybe 10 circles in each direction. Again, if you've just been sitting for hours, that blood flow to the lowest part of the body, maybe not pumping like it was. And if you could just get up, make sure you're doing your, there's now suggesting a break every 30 minutes for the health when they looked at different studies of break to work time or seated sedentary time to movement time. The best health outcomes took when the workers took breaks every 30 minutes. Now it, it was just a quick break, a couple minutes. So here we just took a 10 minute stretch break. That's great. Might not have to stop again for another hour, um, but you can use these stretches throughout the day.